Hello everyone! I hope you're staying safe and healthy. Today we're going to be making a quick and easy recipe that you can make for your kids and for yourself. We are going to be making churros with quick and easy ingredients that you can find at home. Let's get started! You're going to need half a cup of water, half a cup of milk, one teaspoon of sugar, one fourth cup of butter, one cup all purpose flour, two cold eggs, half a cup of sugar mixed with one tablespoon of cinnamon powder. You're also going to need a piping bag and a star tip or any piping tip. And for your dip, you're going to need two chocolate bars and three tablespoons of milk. For the first step, you're going to add the water, milk, sugar, and butter into the pot. going to wait for it to simmer to dissolve the sugar granules. Once it simmers, take off the heat, remove the pot from the stove, and add your flour. Once you add your flour, you are going to mix it until it incorporates. It should form a ball-shaped dough and you'll know it's done when it forms a thin film on the pot. And now we transfer it to a mixing bowl and wait for it to cool down. Once it cools down, you can now add the eggs, one at a time mixing it until it fully incorporates. Here's a tip. If your dough comes out stiff like mine, you can add one more egg until it is no longer stiff. Now, if you don't have a stand mixer, a handheld mixer is the next option. Or, if you don't have a handheld mixer, you can also mix it by hand with a whisk or even a spatula. You just really need really strong arms. Here's the final consistency that we are looking for. The next step is putting the churro dough in a piping bag. Another tip for you to avoid mess, you can also use a tall drinking glass to hold it in place. And now we're ready to fry it! Another money-saving tip, you can also lessen the oil you are going to use in frying it as long as the churro dough does not stick to the bottom of the pan. Also make sure that your oil is hot or else your churros will get soggy. And now we're going to wait for it to turn golden brown. Once it turns golden brown, remove it from the heat and repeat the process making sure you do not overcrowd the pot or else your oil will cool down. Well, here's the fun part, coating it with cinnamon sugar mixture. Here's the finished product. For the dip, I microwave the chocolate bar together with the milk making sure it does not burn and once it comes out, mixing it until it fully incorporates. Let's try it! In cow 
Grey Canada, Rachel Lucy's We Live in Interesting Times. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to show us some love by liking it and subscribing or following us on all of our social media platforms including Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. We'd love to hear what you think. So if there's something that you liked or maybe something you'd like to see from us, let us know in the comments and we'll try our best to make that happen. See you later.